Hmm. You were you were talking uh, we were talking earlier uh, before we started about uh, you you were able to uh, kick the monkey off your back <laughs> with uh, with, uh, with your, your your addiction before so can you uh, what can you share about overcoming that uh, that stage in your life so maybe other people can learn from it if you feel that you're in a vicious cycle and you can't stop. Mm -hmm. You can either go on living that way. Hey, your call, man. You can go on living that way. I mean, you do that to yourself. I do, I do that to myself. Or, there's a way out. That seemed impossible. How did you find the way out? What, what did it take? It took a bottom for me that, in a way, I was fucking up. I was screwing up and I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to do till other people were affected, especially the ones close to me, on my actions because I was numb. Because I was only thinking about myself to keep the habit. Okay. Now... When, one, when I accepted and surrendered to give this a shot because mm -hmm. they have, I have nothing to lose, <clears throat> I, things started to get better and I just told myself, I'll give this to a higher power. This is beyond my control. Mm -hmm. There's a higher power that can make me change this lifestyle. Okay. And I just believed in it, no matter, it isn't religious, mm -hmm. it isn't religion, it's being spiritual, like uh, psyching yourself, whether you believe in whoever God you worship. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound religious, but you know, um, this is, I just became spiritual. Every day I like surrendered to like, hey, give me the strength to, to like, be able to stay clean mm -hmm. today that was very important are you are because i feel that i couldn't have done it on my own i had to channel some outside power that was greater than me and surrender it that to him that hey mm -hmm. i want to change mm -hmm. help me my mind doesn't want to change it mm -hmm. still wants to use Really? Until now? No. Okay. It, it, during the time. Okay. It, until you relearn in your mind to not think that way anymore. Okay. It's just all, it's all in the mind. It's rewiring it's, your Yeah, your it's head. rewiring, but though it's hard, it's not an easy mm -hmm. thing because it was used to, to a certain way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's the cunning and baffling part of it. And going back to with me saying did I did I hassle people along the way that I wasn't aware of mm -hmm. I believe the best apology is a changed behavior then to keep on saying it in words huh. so the best apology I believe for me is a changed behavior that's and a great it, line yeah yeah and it's attraction rather than promotion in a way that if I'm my own testimony of what happened in my life I'm not trying to save the world mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say hey don't drink or don't take any mind-altering substance mm -hmm. by all means ang sarap sarap tumire ang sarap sarap uminom eh mm -hmm. diba? <laughs> ain't their fault that I fucking did too much right <laughs> so yeah. I'm here now this is for me not for anyone and for those, I humbly must say <laughs> that for those who are very manageable with it, then good for you. Cheers and uh, huff, puff, and snort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and uh, huff, puff, snort, and toot, man, <laughs> and uh, shoot. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. I'm happy for you. Uh, with me 
my focus is on me, so I want to stay here first where I'm at. And, you know, who knows? Uh, I'll be damned if I get hung up on the line and start, and start like, hey, hey, Nino's using again. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? Abangan nyo, if ever, but today, I just keep up the good fight. You said five, uh, five, years, uh, five years. And five uh, years and six months six on months. July 27. Oh, congratulations. So, <laughs> um, that, this is where I want mm -hmm. to be right now. And I'm in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm here mm -hmm. in the powerful comics, man. So I'm on the right track. All right. That means I'm progressing, man. Yeah, put it there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. let's cheers. Cheers, coffee. Cheers to that, <laughs> coffee. Yeah. Oh. May I ask, uh, how, how bad did it get for you? Just if as you... bad as everyone else's. Oh, really? Same story, I guess. Nobody's, nobody's more experienced. I, you know, there are stories like, oh no, I've been through a lot. I've been through this, I've been through that. I guess it's all the same. I mean, everybody wants a piece of salvation mm -hmm. in their life. And if they found it, through recreational drugs, so be it. I, like I said, I have nothing against booze nor drugs. What happened to me is because of my decisions, mm -hmm. and I'm owning up to it. Oh, so, well, that's great. That the first. Uh... Never, it's never the fault of the booze nor drugs. Mm -hmm. It's there. I mean, it's there. If you, don't, uh, if you don't use it, it's just there. Yeah, right? I mean, nobody held me on gunpoint to say hey better smoke up no mm -hmm. it's just talagang masarap lang kasi chi chi wow <laughs> masarap lang di ba mm. it's really masarap ngayon ito yung trip ko ngayon eh ito naman mm. maybe it's a big balance in life huh? alright